Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we get to assault Karn Doom again. But this time, we're gonna go with Gulladir to avenge Lorneal's little death and all that good yep. shit. So we're gonna go attack Mordorith specifically. That's the whole intent. This is a very important little, uh, little dungeon. It really is. So, pay fucking attention. Or something. <laughs> See if I can get in there. Why did you not? It's like error. <laughs> error. It, it, yeah, it did. It's an error. It's like no. To assail Kerndoom and drive the sword into the unseen heart of Mordred, the murderous steward of Angmar. Courage may bring hope, but a thirst for vengeance could spell doom. Because he's pissed because his daughter got punted. How can I yeah, she did. Yeah. <laughs> If I remember right, this is pretty cool. Oh yeah, the little visions and shit, yeah. Lots of story in here. Lots of story in this little dungeon. I spent so little time in the morning, you're done. Villain, I will have you dead in her place. Died. Died. I think that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that you have learned nothing from all your... Okay. Yeah. Can't read fast enough. Yeah. Perhaps similar. Come yeah, down. I really don't think that you have the voice for Mordorith either. No. Or, or or what you're trying to pull off is very Mordorith esque. No, I see him as a sassy Frenchman. A sassy Frenchman? Gulladir <laughs> or Mordorith? Mordorith. <laughs> yeah. Sassy Frenchman. Oh. oh this is all you. I'm trying. Yeah, I see you're like just looking the other way there. <laughs> Swinging at him. I'm gonna hit ya! <laughs> uh, yes. All the deflecting and the resisting because I'm a level lower than you. Oh, uh, yes. These gullet is tanking that bitch. I'm like a champ. It's like you ain't got nothing on me. And Garim person guy. Oh shit, you're a bear. Oh shit, he's pissed at you. Alright, I'll bear up too. <laughs> oh, now we gotta kill the fallen heroes, yeah. Yeah, cause there's no The spirits within my butt. I'm a sexy bear. I uh, wouldn't necessarily say that. I got do got a freaky fallen fluffy butt. What did you just say? A freaky fallen fluffy butt? I have a freaking fluffy butt. Okay. I see. It been in the heart. The flame was extinguished. Is that your sassy Frenchman voice? No. Oh. The flame was extinguished. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Use a croissant. Croissants are tasty. When the fuck did you like croissants all of a sudden? I've always liked croissants. Lies. When the fuck have we ever had croissants? <laughs> Just because I don't want to make them does not mean I yeah, haven't right. had Clearly them. Clearly you don't want to make them. I don't really like cooking. Yeah, I noticed. That's why you do it. Yeah, I noticed. I don't like cooking, so you do it. Is Pretty it... much. That's how it goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fucking fall here. Just fucking... It's actually one of my favorite moves. I know, yeah. Just get all rawr. It helps because it is like a family move, but you're doing damage all the time. Yeah. It's not terrible. Ooh, I balls. Freak out. A lesson I've learned from very first hand. His very hand. As he instructed me. Thoughts of my family. What? 
Brothers in arms. Basically what he's telling you is he was turned into what he is today by the Witch King of Angmar. Hmm. Yep. Now you see right there, he was one of the Witch King's greatest foes. And when he was slain and subsequently... <laughs> what, the midgets? Is that what you're looking at? No. That, that they were getting stuck on the fallen heroes. A little bit, but uh, no. Uh, what you're... Maybe you just found out. Well, not really just found out. But what you're finding out is that Mortar at that one time was human and fought against the Witch King. Or when he was slain and thus corrupted, or whatever, if you will, turned into the spiritual being he is today. You having problems with them? Me? Yes. No, I was just trying to target the this thing. I don't think they're attacking me. But in all honesty, so I'm like, uh. No, they're just standing there crying. Yeah, so that's why I was trying to attack the, uh. The, Big ass troll. Oh look, I just finished the deed. Good for you. Oh. <laughs> Freak out. I know. Eyeballs. Flamey eyeballs. What is he? Um, I don't know. Mordoreth, show yourself. Um, he's not going to if you keep yelling for him. <laughs> right? Enough of these illusions! But Father, there is one last lesson to be taught. That is not you talking. That is a palantir. A what? A palantir. It looks like a stone rock. That big black marble looking thing that um, that was in uh, the Tower of Orthanc with Saruman. Oh, the scene eyeball thing? Yep. That's what that is. Hmm. Either way, it's really freaking me out. <laughs> I'm gonna come back over here so I get more life. So if you go over there, your life drops really low. It's like, hey, stay near Mr. Gulladir or you die. What? Well, watch! Never mind, we're gonna fight. <laughs> I say, our, our health is pretty low already to begin with. Because of the because of the eyeball, it kind of fucks your shit up. Yeah. Killing the ghost of your daughter with my bees, bitch. <laughs> what? Insects. Yeah. Scared. We're scared. Uh huh. Very much so. She oh, stopped crying. She's pissed at me now. Shadow shall take you, Faja. Not if you deflect all my attacks first. Oh, she is level 50. Yeah. She's, she's pretty angry. But most of what's going on with the health and all that shit is the eyeball. Man, of course, we're also in a fucking terrifying place. I mean, we're in the castle of the Witch King. No, no, just stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bitch slap me. Oh, what the balls. What the balls. Fallen in battle before me. Right. He is like super freaking red. What? His name, his unique thing. Oh, yeah. He is fucking pissed at me. Yeah. Yeah. 
stunned his ass. <laughs> he can stay on the ground. With his badass sword. I remember, does it break here or not? What, his sword? Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I don't know, you'll find out. Uh, I don't remember. He doesn't like me. He doesn't like anyone. <laughs> Jesus, he's really kicking your ass. That's what I said. <laughs> How much healing have we done? But hold this. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, and that's one thing too. Like, I've never played an MMO that actually makes location hurt you. Like you play other MMOs and you go to some big bad evil place and you never take like some incredibly debilitating debuff or anything like that like we do like we do like we are now. You know what I mean? Here, I got heal spray. Good. <laughs> little tank. <laughs> oh, he's done. Good. Yeah, that's this is gonna uh, take a while to kill him. If you're paying attention to the little banter between him and Gullader, it's a lot of uh, Gullader doing all that shit. It's the storyline shit that they kind of throw in there. And Lorneal comes back out. Fuck Lorneal up. Oh, Jesus. Stop stunning me so I can heal yeah. myself. God damn it. Yeah, she's gone. Well, what she does is she does that, and that stunt kind of thing. Freaks you out. Like, oh, well, yeah. Anybody would be freaked out by a crying ghost. Yeah. <laughs> it's really old. That he's just it kind of like summoning this weird ass thing. Over there. Actually. I think Amarthio has a really badass helmet too. Oh, the chick? Mm hmm. Dungeon showed me my when I stunned your bitch ass. Night time was pizza. Almost got me. Stop killing me. I'm too pretty. Unless I can change back into the bear right now myself. Thank you. Do your job. Wow, really? <laughs> And then tell me what to do. I see how it is. I think that's what your spec is, healing. <laughs> the, well, the support tree or whatever. You know, I think what this game is missing is a pure buff tree. Buff tree? A pure oh, buff yeah. class, yeah. I think that's really what it's missing. Oh, look, I can scream too. <laughs> Except I'm a bear, so it's scarier. And then whatever the fuck you're supposed to be more of. Evil spirit dead thing? Yeah. Zombie! There we go. Well, no, wait. He's just not has the human. control over himself, so he's not a zombie. This is true. He's rehealing himself. Rehealing himself? Yes! Yeah. Look at that. So be it. With the light, I kill thee. Oh. So cool. No. I have but one last reserve of strength. Of yep, you're, you're just screwing that all up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dizzy. It's all right. I can't read words. <laughs> and he exploded. 
base coward. All right. What do you need? What do you need? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's Sarah Oakheart. Mm-hmm. Little midget, angry thing with big nose. Yeah, you'll find out um, why the fuck a hobbit is here right now. Later. Papa and I. It's me, a great fair. Oh. Stun. Great fair, indeed. She just took the eyeball. Yeah, rock. she just took the pelantair. I was like, fuck this, I'm out. I right. have it. Yeah, she she has taken the pelantair. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like how you kind of, um, like, you kind of go through the storyline, and then something happens right at the end, like, you, it feels like everything's being wrapped up, and then all of a sudden, that happens, and like, things. what the fuck? Why? The gift of Dunakar, Avenger of the West, renewed Golodir's spirit, and with the sword he avenged the death of his daughter. But though Mordereth was weakened, he was not destroyed, retreating to nurse his hurts and plot revenge. How will this help us in our struggles? Will Sauron maintain control, or will another power claim Angmar? Oh, uh, what? Angry what? Hobbit. What? Like, not, whoa, okay, all right, <laughs> I'm just pissed. <laughs> Swinging my hands and shit all around. Jesus. Give me stuff. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess we can choose uh, the shit here. Mm hmm. Alright. So. Would you do something for me? Hey, look at that. A watchful eye. Guess what we get to do? Kill things? Even more? Not, not, not really. Ooh. What? What did I just do? I think I just got rough with the peoples. Yep. Reflect the peoples? I got rep. Not reflect. I, I heard reflect the peoples. I reflect the peoples. <laughs> Finally, I can travel here. <laughs> oh, to here? <laughs> yeah. Right? So I got All a right. title. It is time to port back to the Prince Pony. And then head off to Rivendell, and then we'll drop this episode right here. Yeah? I can't get oh, too great. Oh, go to the horse guy. <laughs> I don't know why it was... I didn't go there. It's because the um, thing is is uh, bound together. All your ports. Oh. Yep, and since you used your port to get here to Gathforth Near, and now you cannot port back to Bree. It's not that big a deal, really. No, it's not. You can actually, in the shop, buy a thing to um, shorten your thing so it's only half an hour instead of an hour wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there is that if you're uh, if you're at all interested at some point. I didn't think they were connected. <laughs> what? I didn't think what's connected. The bounds for time. They are, yeah. But like I said, when you get hasty traveler, it kind of helps quite a bit. And then you can kind of, you know, move around freely. Mm -hmm. you, could, you know what you could have done? You what? Know what you can do? Um, use your port back to um, Grim Bay Orange Lodge. Oh, I could have. And then take that horse to Bree. Right? Because it takes you to Bree. Yep. And then, um, that's unless that guy, move, move. Don't, don't, yeah, don't go through with it. See, see where his ports are. See where he can get you. He can take me to Rivendell. Oh, well, then there you go. <laughs> Rivendell! See, I did not know he could take you to Rivendell. Oh, well, apparently I can go to Rivendell. Yeah, apparently I'm the one who's going to be late. <laughs> and I'm the one who used my port. Oh, because I didn't fucking look at the guy. Now but it works out. Yeah, because like, well, I can just get from here to Rivendell, too. So, not that big a deal. Not that big a deal. You alright there? Yeah. You're staring at your shirt like you don't know why it's on or why you're wearing it. <laughs> like, why am I wearing this? When did I put this on? I don't want to wear clothing. Whoa. <laughs> Weird. 
weird ancient dwarf type. It's especially strong against dragon kind. That's nice. <laughs> Which is strange. Considering the dwarves got their shit fucked up at Erebor. I'm just saying. Whoa. Hello, Hi. guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, that's your summer horse. Yep. Yeah. You gonna try and get that pretzel goat? But I don't have the quest to go there. You mean you don't have the quest to go Did there? Did it pop up? Like it does in the corner. Oh, going the wrong way. It should if you uh, log out and then log back in. It didn't pop up when I got on. Uh, I'm sure it did. I know where to go to find it, but still. Where do you go to find it? I don't know. You gotta go over into, um, where the dwarves and the elves... Oh! Oh, you about ate it. <laughs> you about ate it. <laughs> Lag almost took me out. <laughs> yeah, I've, 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 I've had that happen a couple times. I don't want to go off the cliff. Oh, apparently I'm going off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff, indeed. I should get my pretzel goat tonight. Pretzel goat? You get your pretzel goat! No? No. I just, no. He has beer. Just none. He has Who beer. Yeah, he actually has a keg on He back. has beer. Oh, yeah. A man called Estel. I remember all that shit. Yeah. Peace. Alright, so. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, what do we want? What do we want? Do we want a ring. finger? Do we want a dagger? Or a beat stick? Jesus Christ, that beat stick's better than the one I got. Then use it. Yeah, but these rings are a hell of a lot better than the one I got, too. So we'll go with the ring. Greetings. We'll go with the ring. Ah. Gandalf is... Where is Gandalf? It, he just tells you right here. I didn't read it. He's in Bilbo's room. Ah, he's over with the peoples. Mm-hmm. You have to go talky talky to uh to the whatever the hell that place is called. That one that one place. My horse is prettier than yours. I don't know, I like mine quite a bit. Where are you going? You are totally not going That's the last homely house right there. What are you doing? You right there. can't get there from here. Yeah, I can. There's another bridge over here. Oh, I'm going this way. Not just the fallen tree. God. Didn't you watch the movies? Oh my god. God. See, it's right there. Bridge. Homely house. I could have just jumped and went down the river. Why would you do that? I don't know. I've done that. But why? Why would you do that? Because why, how would I that like help you? Shortcuts. How would that help you talk to Gandalf faster? Because I would just like. I'm not being a dick here. I'm, I'm legitimately <laughs> asking how no, how would that help you talk to him faster? Shortcuts? How? What? Where's the shortcut? I haven't jumped off of it. It's over there. You actually go down to the edge and you just jump off. Yeah, but then once you jump off, then where does that land you? It or lands where do you, you end over up being? there or behind the guy that you just passed with the ring. Over his head. Make sense? No, it doesn't. I still do not understand the logistics of how that works out for you. <laughs> this is a hall of fire, guest chambers. Is it guest chambers? I don't know. Go ahead and find nope. out. Uh, shit. Is it up? It's not here. It's not the hall of fire. For obvious reasons. Oh, there it is. Bilbo's room. I knew it was one of these rooms off to the side. I just got the sides mixed up. The one on the right, isn't it? No, shut up. You just said that because you <laughs> saw me go over there. <laughs> Don't be like, oh, I knew it all along. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Why do you disturb me? Frodo Baggins. Why do you yes. disturb me? Gandalf yes. with this poop stick. Gandalf with this poop stick. <laughs> it does look like a little fucking turd happened right here. Like, whatever the fuck that is. Yeah. Feed complete. All right then. Uh. All right. That's uh, that's it. Now we get to go all the way back to Gath Forthnir. And talk to Galadier <laughs> again. Mm. Is that awesome or what? 
<laughs> we came all the way over here and then we had to go over. Yes. Yep. That's what we, we're going to go start uncovering the whole Sarah Oakhart um, storyline, story arc, if you will. Because we're like, why the fuck did this little hobbit come in and steal a Palantir? Because she likes to. We need to figure that shit out. But anyway, that's next time. If you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. Bye.